Welcome to the Easter edition of Guy News. There is a sense that Britain is desperate for someone to show us the way. Not the old way, not the same way, but a different generation. No, not Dave, Stuart Wheeler and his new trust party. Good morning and thank you very much for coming to this launch of the trust party. What I found particularly encouraging is that the Tory party are evidently so nervous about the trust party that they've decided to have an important last minute press conference of their own in order to try and take some of you away. You or I takes money from my employer or from the government. And when I say it takes money from, you know what that is, it's stealing. We'd be wearing a white suit for the campaign. We're no, well, as you can see, rather inappropriately, perhaps, I'm wearing a blue suit. Uh, so I haven't bought a white suit, no. That was suggested that I should. I've such a funny shape there that I couldn't get one off the bed. Meanwhile, in what is supposed to be mainstream politics, the three major parties were slagging it off on the BBC over the return of the Prince of Darkness, still undead master, Tony Blair. So if you don't want me to answer any questions, then continue to interrupt me. By all means, no, no, please. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, We've had more money poured into the health service, which the Tories attack, and education, and all those promises were made by Blair. But, and by the way, well, I often Mr. bring out my card. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm obviously, I am delighted to see uh, him back, but I mean, and I'm, 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 I'm obviously, I'm and I'm obviously I very to pleased Eric here because to see that he's got his final wish of turning Eric, into a Texan. If he's going to maintain his contacts, be able to pick up the phone to ministers who he used to be in government with, he wants Labour to win. That is an outrageous thing to that say. That is outrageous. It's if you don't want me to answer Labour got any questions, then continue to interrupt me. By all means, no, no, please. No, no, You've Labour, obviously Labour, got something. Look, this is, this is, this is, I'm, a, this I'm is a complete... He's left this country less fair than it was when he came in in 1997. Gentlemen. He's actually put up taxes on the poor in order to cut taxes on the middle class. If that's all fairness, all I can say is you better keep it. Mr Pickles. It's you better keep yeah. it. Mr. Pi Mr. Yeah. Pickles. It's you better keep yeah. it. Mr. Pi Mr. Yeah. Pickles. I am really looking right. forward to the election starting. <laughs> um, I'm sure he's going to do what? a lot for my... Mr. Hassler, please. Yes, I was just trying to get a word in, Edgeways. Well, he must be feeling heartbroken to see the way in which Unite has taken over that once great party. And I think he has, has, has to support to, yours. And he has to. Oh my goodness me! I mean, of course he well, that so was. What? That so was the hard wingers in Europe. You haven't taken on your old demons, Eric. For That's God the truth. Sake. You haven't <laughs> taken on the old demons. For goodness' sake! And it's just week one of the campaign. <laughs> well, it's not even week one. And, and I think that uh, the British people will get an opportunity to connect with Mr. Blair, but not in a nice way. Blair Thank is you. fighting Thank for the Labour government. Thank you. That's right. Well, he's certainly not fighting Th for the British people. Thank John, you all John, very. Thank sure. you all very much. Much. And I look, I look forward to the election starting nonsense. as well. Thank you very much. Now. That's enough pies for one day. Time to check in on how our little piggies are doing. Oi, oi! Oi, oi! Oi, oi! 